determinants are used to indicate whether a matrix has an inverse or not. If the determinant of a matrix is equal to zero, that means it has no inverse. If it's equal to any other number, that means it does have an inverse. Determinants are also used in Cramer's rule, which is used to solve simultaneous equations. So here we're given a 3x3 three three matrix and we're asked to find the determinant of this particular matrix. So to find the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, we're going to break it down into a series of 2x2s two and solve them as we go. So to solve this determinant question, we start with the top row, 2, 5, minus 1. So we take the first number, 2. Next, we cover the row that 2 is on. And we cover the column that 2 is on. And we write down what's left beside 2. So as you can see, we're left with minus 2, 0, 1, 1. Next, on the top row, we go to 5. Now the middle number always changes sign, so plus 5 becomes a minus 5. Again, we cover the row that 5 is on, and the column that 5 is on. And we're left with 3, 0, 4, 1. Finally, we take the last number in the top row, which is minus 1, put it down. Again, we cover the row that minus 1 is on, and the column that minus 1 is on. We're left with 3, minus 2, 4, 1. So at this point, we've broken down our 3x3 three three matrix into a series of 2x2s. Two so what we'll do next is find the determinant of each of these 2x2s. Two There's three of them there and multiply them by the number beside them. So as we know, the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix is AD minus BC. So if we take the first one here, we have 2. It's AD, which is minus 2 by 1. Minus BC is 0 by 1. Moving on to to the middle part of the equation, we have minus 5 now the determinant of this 2 by 2 it's AD, so it's 3 by 1 minus B which is 0 by C which is 4 and finally we have the last part so it's minus 1 by the determinant, which is 3 by 1, A by D, minus B, which is minus 2, by C, which is 4. At this point, we complete our multiplication and any addition and subtraction. So we have 2 by minus 2 by 1 is minus 2, minus 0 gives us minus 2. We have minus 5 multiply by 3, minus 0, which is 3. We have minus 1 by 3, minus, minus 8, which is 3 plus 8, which is 11. That gives us minus 4, minus 15, minus 11. So minus 4 minus 15 is minus 19. Minus 11 gives us a total of minus 30. So the determinant of the 3 by 3 matrix we start with is minus 30. So we know that particular matrix has an inverse, because if the determinant is 0, then it has no inverse. A matrix which has no inverse is commonly referred to as being singular.